all for joining. I'll give you a few minutes to join. Um, if you're new, let me know where you're joining from. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, you can hit the subscription button below and that way you'll get notifications on when we're coming on live. So if you have any issues with hearing me, let me know. And I will be able to see comments. Let me just pull it up here. And we'll get started. Okay. So today we are making butternut squash salad. It is a vegan salad. Um, I'm using it as a side dish, but if you would like to make it as your main meal, you can increase the serving um, size because um, it does have some protein from our chickpeas in there, the roasted chickpeas, or you can add a protein. Um, you can add chicken, you can add salmon, whatever you like. So it's such um, a fall, it's delicious. Now we got all the winter squashes out there. Uh, we've had some fall weather this week, but I heard now it's gonna be going up again. So let's just say it's fall and we're eating more fall foods, right? So I love this time of the year because of all the different fruits and veggies for the season. So we are using the butternut squash. Here is one of them. Um, and these things are so beautiful. Um, let's talk a little bit about the butternut squash before we get into our salad here today. So um, you may have seen these, right? Um, they make great centerpieces and decorations too, if you get one. Um, so it's the winter squash. It's very versatile. You can use it um, for sweet or uh, it's sweet and a nutty flavor. So you can use it in so many ways. Um, you can make french fries out of it instead of potatoes. You can use it in baking as a, as a puree. You can put it in chili and stews, in salad like we are doing today, in smoothies to thicken them up and add some more nutrition. You can use them in curry dishes. Um, you can puree it and put it in pasta sauces. Um, so kids get, get a lot more nutrition in their pasta sauce. And you can replace it instead of potato. If you wanted a lower carb option, you can do the butternut squash. Um, and we know it as a vegetable. I just wanted a little trivia, but it is actually a fruit because it has the seeds inside. Now, a lot of people um, don't buy it because of this hard peel, but thankfully we have very uh, good, we have great stores that have convenience. So they're already chopped up in um, cubes for us. I did go to Trader Joe's and they were completely out of the cubes, so I had to buy like the zigzag french fries um, cut ones, but they work, right? That's a great way to eat french fries this way too. So I just air fried them, uh, roasted them in my air fryer. We'll talk about that in just a second. So this is our beautiful, tasty, nutritious butternut squash. Uh, just a little bit about the nutrition. One cup is only 80 calories. It has so much fiber, seven grams, it's really high. So if you're trying to add more fiber in your diet, it's a great one to add in. Because it's orange, it's very high in vitamin A. In that one cup, you get over 400% of your recommended daily allowance. So that's a lot of vitamin A. Uh, vitamin C, that one cup has 50% of our daily needs. So you know, vitamin C is really important for wound healing, tissue repair, our immune system. Um, let's see what else, collagen synthesis. So lots of benefits from vitamin C. It's also high in our antioxidants, so it helps fight cancer and heart disease, uh, inflammation, and um, you know, that's a few things about the antioxidants. It's also um, very high in magnesium, potassium, and um, uh, manganese, which are all important for bone health. So you can see that um, this guy right here is very nutritious. So we can enjoy this in this butternut squash salad. So let's get started. Um, it's super simple. So the first thing you wanna do is get your butternut squash in the house. I recommend if you wanna be quick and easy in the kitchen like I do, um, skip this one and just buy it already peeled and cut up for you it's usually in a bag so different grocery stores do have them so we do need let's see how much we need um one medium butternut squash so i just used the whole package that i bought and we need one can of chickpeas 
Um, so they're here. So I got an organic can of chickpeas. So this is um, a vegetarian source of protein. So we're gonna have that. So what you do first before you um, get your salad together, you need to roast the butternut squash and the chickpeas on a sheet pan um, in the oven. And you could do it also in your air fryer. But let's say in your oven, um, you wanna heat it up to 400 and you just use your baking sheet. You can put some um, baking um, paper on there and spread out your butternut squash and your chickpeas and it does need to cook for about 20 to 25 minutes. So get that out of the way. And then we'll assemble the salad. So, so while that is in the oven, you get your salad. So you need six cups of greens. I am doing um, spinach and arugula and butter red, baby red butter. You can use any greens that you like. So let's put this together. If you have any questions, just um, paste them in the chat box and I'll be able to see them. And I see more of you joining. I'm just thank you guys all take, for taking time out of your Wednesday to join me. Always appreciate it. And I like to be interactive. So if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the box so we can chat here while we're making this. So if you're trying to increase um, you know, the fiber in your diet, trying to feel better, uh, trying to reduce your cholesterol or blood pressure, you really want to increase the vegetables in your diet. And this is one easy recipe that you could add into your rotation. And for salads, I always make more so I can eat them you know, all week long. I just add the dressing as I go. Um, so I just add the dressing as I eat it every day so it doesn't um, make it too wilty. So now we're just gonna add this red leaf. So this is a great Thanksgiving salad. If you're thinking about your menu already, which we should be, right? It's around the corner and the way time flies, you'll be cooking your turkey pretty soon. Okay, so we have our greens, okay? And now, uh, so when you're, I want to go back to the roasting the butternut squash and your chickpeas. You can um, put some paprika on them. Um, you can put a tablespoon of olive oil or you can spray it with olive oil and just a little bit of sea salt. Okay. Um, okay. So let's get this going. Let's make, um, so let me move some of these things so you can see it better. Okay, so now I'm just gonna show you the chickpeas here. They were roasted, okay? So just you can just get the canned organic garbanzo beans and then you'll roast them. So you add that to your salad. You can add all of them, but I'm just gonna, I got a small bowl here for some reason, so I'm not gonna overflow it. Then watch your butternut squash when you're roasting it. I got carried away. And um, so we got some burnt ones a little bit, but you'll do better than I. Um, that's one thing about roasting, you can't forget about it. So check it at 15 minutes and see how they're doing. So we're gonna add this butternut squash. I'm gonna eat one of these burnt ones. <laughs> Too black. Okay, mm, they're so sweet. I like these zigzag ones because it's fun for making french fries. Okay, so let's make our dressing. Now that I have an empty bowl, we can make our dressing. So this dressing has some orange. So a juice of one orange. So I'm just gonna cut it and squeeze it in there. And we'll use some olive oil, some apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons. A little bit of maple syrup, a tablespoon just to Sweeten it a little bit, salt and pepper, and that's it for our dressing. Super fresh and light. We don't need the orange in there. Okay. So you can um, use your juicer, whatever you have, but I'm just doing this by hand. Plenty. Okay. 
There we go. Now we're going to add two tablespoons of our apple cider vinegar with the mother. We are almost out of this. We do use this a lot for dressing. Two tablespoons. So it's always refreshing to make your own salad dressings. You can control the fat and the sodium and the sugar in these because sometimes, you know, those store-bought ones don't always have the healthiest ingredients for us. So we got apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons of oil, and you can always adjust it, like I said, depending on your like. Okay, we'll add this in there. And then we'll whisk it up. Um, we need salt and pepper, and then a little bit of our maple syrup, a tablespoon. We got 100% maple syrup. If you don't have maple syrup, you can use honey. If you're diabetic and you wanted to use um, a little bit of your stevia or monk fruit, that's fine. Or you can skip it. Okay, so that's our maple syrup. And it's just a little bit, so it's for the whole salad. So even if you are diabetic, it's very little sugar. Okay, so now we need salt and pepper. Little splash there, little shake there. Okay, let's whisk this up. You can see that little fresh dressing there. And if you don't have um, fresh orange and you have a drop of orange juice at home, you can use that. Okay. So before we add that, um, let's add the toppings to our salad. Okay, so we got chopped green onion, three chopped green onions, okay? So you can have, we'll just add that to our salad. Okay, so that's the onion. And then we got some nuts here and some dried fruit. So pecans work really well, walnuts, sunflower seeds, and pumpkin seeds. So you can put as, you know, fourth of a cup of nuts total. So I have different ones here. I have some pumpkin, I have some sunflower, and we have a little bit of unsalted dry roasted pecans and some walnuts. So we're gonna put a little bit of each on here. And then we're gonna add some dried cranberries, about a fourth of a cup. And some flowers here. And then our pumpkin. Wow, look at that salad. It is pile high. And this is my dried fruit here, okay? dried fruit adds a little sweetness and like I said if you don't like dried fruit in your salad leave it out it's your recipe okay look how quick that was I'm done with our salad so now this was for a dinner party you would add your dressing right and you'd finish that salad but if this is just for you during the week and your meal prepped the salad for you you might want to just add the dressing when you go to eat your salad so I'm going to do that, but let me show you how beautiful this salad turned out. Some of you are just joining. We are doing the butternut squash salad, a little bit of protein from our roasted um, chickpeas. Do you see the salad there? Yep. Okay. So, um, let me show you again. I just saw a few people popping on. Wouldn't that make a great Thanksgiving dinner for your family? Everyone will love this. So I'm not gonna mix it because I just love the way it looks. But um, this would be the dressing and you would drizzle that on there. So let's have a bite and try this. 
So if this is, let's say you're meal prepping it for a main dish, you want to double up your serving so you get enough protein. Um, if it's a side dish, then you want to add a little bit more protein to it, maybe some chicken, salmon, whatever you want. I'm gonna use a fork, I mean a spoon, put some dressing on here. Okay, let's try this. I love anything with beans or, and salad. Mmm. Mmm. All the flavors are amazing. Some sweet from the butternut squash, the onions, the green onions are adding a lot. The dressing is very fresh. Mmm. Mmm. It's super good. I wish you guys can all try it. But you still have time today to go to the grocery store and get this. Mm. But let me tell you, the grocery store sells out really fast out of the butternut squash that's already chopped. If you can go early in the morning, you'll most likely get it. If you go in the evening, you're gonna um, like in the evening, I went yesterday and got the butternut squash. I was left with the zigzag cut, which worked out fine. But if you want it in chunks and you don't want to cook it yourself, get to the grocery store in the morning because it is a very popular, right? So do you guys have any questions? This salad is just so high and so much nutrition and um, lots of crunch and taste. Lots of that nutty flavor. We got the garbanzos and the butternut squash. So lots of vitamin A, vitamin C, fiber, antioxidants to help fight disease and inflammation. And it's a great way to add a couple cups at that one meal of just veggies, right? So um, easy way to add more fiber into our diet and vegetables. And if um, you're trying to um, control your weight or maybe even lose body fat, lots of fiber will help that. And so it's a great salad for that too. So I will take questions now. Anybody watching live right now have any questions for me? I'm happy to answer them. You know what I'm gonna be eating for a few days, right? Mmm, it's delicious. And if you're new to my channel, everything I cook here is super fast and easy because we're so busy. We're busy people. There's so much to do and a little bit, not enough time in our days, right? So we keep it simple in the kitchen, but at the same time, delicious, fast, and healthy for us. So you'll see all my um, recipes. They're very easy, nothing complex. So that's it for today. I don't see any questions popping up. If you want um, to see me cook something in November, let me know in the chat box and maybe I can do that. Um, we got more pumpkin fall stuff coming up next week. So if you love pumpkin, who doesn't, right? We'll be doing something pumpkin-like and we'll have a nutrition topic as well next week. So. I don't see any questions. I'm going to close it up today, but I want to thank you all that joined me live here. It's always um, a pleasure having you with me. And if you have any friends in the community that could use some nutrition information or exercise classes, send them our, you can share the link with them and have them subscribe. We love to reach as many people in our community as we can and get some information to them. Okay, guys, I wish you guys were all here to join me to eat this. But I'm going to be signing off, and this is our roasted butternut squash. I can just review the recipe really quick before I log off. And I will be putting the recipe today on our channel here. It'll be under the comments, so you can save it there. Just hit save on um, this video. There's a fly here. Okay, so we used um, any greens you wanted. I had baby red butter and spinach and arugula. 
Then we roasted a butternut squash and a can of chickpeas in the oven. You can also use your air fryer or a toaster oven. And then we had a few green onions and nuts of choice. You can do pecans, walnuts, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds. And we did a little bit of dried cranberries. Could be any dried fruit that you like. And then for our dressing, we did orange, juice of one orange, a little bit of olive oil, and a little bit of apple cider vinegar with the mother, and a tablespoon of sweetness from maple syrup, and salt and pepper. That's it guys, super easy. So I will be posting the recipe for you guys in a little bit, and I will leave you with this here. Thanks for joining. You guys all have a great day.